I'm gonna cut a piece of wood or something and throw some throw some sawdust around this thing. All right, what up, y'all? It has started raining. I don't think it's raining to come inside the container just yet, though. So I just closed one door down, which y'all can see what it's looking like. I was supposed to be working on that, so we're gonna go back in here and work on something else. That's uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Let's get to it. About to definitely take advantage of having to work inside and work on setting up this 48 volt system, baby. Man, let's get to it. First, uh, they come packed up. It's a couple of boxes. It's well packed for such a big battery. We got some wire terminals and then they have some cool orange straps so i guess if you need to strap it in because technically y'all it's a golf cart battery uh and it comes with a 48 volt charger so just for this so you can plug it into the wall and they got the instructions for that but we are not using it for that oh yeah and i opened this before and i knew they had this it uh can mount somewhere and then you got all this wire to run it and connect it directly into the battery so we'll get into that in a minute but this will give you all of your information and the reads on your battery this is good stuff and then this next one is the charger and i'll show y'all this even though y'all know we off grid so unless i'm like plugging into another station or something uh i probably won't use this but this is the little charger that it comes with if you guys are in the market for a golf cart battery it's not like rack mount batteries that you see it's got some weight to it y'all just to go over a few specs and talk about this just a little bit this is a lithium ion battery it's a life pole 4 it's 51.2 volt which is classified as a 48 volt battery at 100 amp hours and this and maybe another one later it's going to be able to power the shipping container and do what I need it to do on a big level. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, the model number for this one is, you kind of saw a little earlier, is TM512100. And they're always on sale. So go check the link in the description. And uh, if it's something you're looking into man it could be so it's so many uses so not just for what we doing off grid shipping container power it can actually be used for a cabin i already said a golf cart it could be used to extend the battery power for your power stations which we already know that go hard too but it has a max charge current of 100 amps and then the max discharge current of 200 amps we're gonna get these terminals thrown in all right, so here we go. Throw the rest of that wire back there. It looks like it's a four pin. Plug that in. And then screw it up pretty tight. I'm gonna turn this monitor on. Oh, if this is coming up well on there, I hope it is. Uh, you could see that it's kind of got a uh, amps, how many amps is running through it or it's, it's, it's being used. It tells you the voltage of the battery currently. The temperature is 87.6 and then it tells you, I, I don't know if y'all can see that, that 999 hours and 36 minutes is how long this will run, but it's nothing connected to it. You can see it kind of got a plate to where it can be mounted flat on something. Let me get an inverter together so we can show y'all what this thing can possibly do see what we got it's my eg4 y'all it's actually going to be used in here it's going to stay in the um, shipping container and it's going to use that timgo battery to power the whole thing on a 48 volt level so this is just how it happened today i gotta set it up but it's going to be set up in a pretty cool way well, this big big nasty right here is a 48 volt so if you're running a 48 volt you need something that can use the power of a 48 volt but then also get power via solar back to that 48 volt battery and this is what we're using and also 
because this is temporary i know that i could touch this metal on this positive and negative side maybe mess up something internally but i'm sitting here doing it i'm being careful about it uh just to see what this thing can do and yeah so i know so this is how i'm gonna get power out of this battery via this inverter i purchased this separate the colors are kind of the same but they're not the same uh but i purchased this separate i cut off the power strip head and it left me with a uh ground uh hot and a neutral so i'm about to run these into the inverter as my load and then i'll be able to get power from that battery and i'll explain more about the setup i'm doing a little later when i get ready to build out what i'm gonna build out here in the shipping container let's go ahead and turn on the inverter that's connected to the battery and while it's trying to load up i'm gonna see via the timgo monitor if there's any amps that are coming out of that thing ah there we go we got some amps on the current rolling and that's just basically to make this work to turn it on so yeah you can see that it's drawing power for sure all right y'all got that fan plugged in down there if you look right there that fan could run for 38 hours in seven or so minutes and the battery is still at 100 and that's cool but that ain't look i want this thing to run some serious stuff like to run some run some stuff i pulled out the the miter saw i'm gonna plug it in fans plugged in still running that's still at a hundred percent because it ain't gonna stop being at a hundred percent because the fan ain't running much but i'm about to plug this uh miter saw in let's see what happens all right it did that Hold on, let me throw this on a tripod. I'm gonna cut a piece of wood or something and throw some throw some sawdust around this thing. And for the demonstration, cause this thing can pull some serious power, I am going to cut this piece of wood in here and put the app on so we can see exactly what it's doing and how much power it's drawing. So first, I don't know what I use this for, but let's get this thing back to zero so let me turn this app on so y'all can see batteries on we there you can see it's full time to empty is showing time to full is not there because we're not charging it with anything yet i'll do it later of course it's raining no sun out there so let's see what we get I'm not certain what that surge to, but let's let's give it some power, baby. Oh, I didn't go all the way through because my door stopped it from going backwards, but there we go. It could definitely run that. And the other things that it's gonna need to run, it's I'm certain gonna run it no problem. I don't have too many more things to run in here, but that's the battery um when i get ready to set it up it's oh it's gonna be fun y'all and i'm probably gonna set it up using the same system you saw here today it's just a few components that are missing for it but i'm gonna get it all hooked up on the wall set up and again there it is y'all link is in the description it's running a fan right now through the load through that inverter and you just saw me use my miter saw and right now the lights are plugged into my opus over there just because that was quicker because of the rain just started coming in but soon the whole thing will run off of, of that system that you're seeing there it'll just look prettier uh again you see that little bit that i did 
brought the battery down to 99%. Yes. So I'm working with something now, y'all. 48 volt battery system. Thank you, uh, Tim Go. I look forward to working with y'all. I recommend the battery. I'm gonna use the battery. It will be important, a super important part of our system, and that's how we're gonna live out here. So appreciate y'all hanging out with your boy. Homestead homies, you know. I hope you learned something, for real. Peace.